Hey guys, welcome back to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about ice fishing for crappies with spoons. So fishing for crappies with spoons is a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's just a fun way to catch them. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some of my favorite spoons. So first off, whenever I'm fishing spoons and with all the spoons that we're gonna be going over today, I like to at least start out by tipping them with live bait. So that's a question that I get a lot is whether or not to tip spoons. So whenever I start fishing, I tip the treble hooks, usually one or two of the treble hooks with a wax worm or a spike. Uh, wax worms and spikes are both obviously their bug larva um, for those of you that don't know. But you can usually get wax worms or spikes at any local bait shop and to start out just to test how aggressive the crappies are gonna be I like to tip those spoons some of the spoons if the crappies are really aggressive you're gonna get hits without the live bait but for starting out I usually start out tipping the uh, the spoons and I'll just show you what I mean on on the treble hooks I'll hook a wax worm or or a spike and I'll either do one, two, or three, just kind of depending. I usually start with two. So of the three treble hooks, one of the treble hooks I'll put a wax worm or a spike on. So getting right into some of the lures now, this is one of my favorite lures. I actually just discovered it this year. It is the, uh, I believe it's the Rattle Master. It's the Tungsten Rattle Master. Gets down the hole really quick. It works really well for hole hopping. Um, I actually featured this bait in my top 10 lures for crappies. I'll link that up in the description here, or not the description, in the corner of the video if you haven't checked it out already. But this, this Rattle Master is one of my favorite spoons. The, th the biggest thing I like about it is it gets down the hole really quick. A lot of times when you're hole hopping for crappies, say you're fishing in a basin, you're fishing deep water, a lot of times you'll put your transducer down a new hole, you'll see a crappie there. You gotta get your bait down there real quick before he leaves. This bait gets down there very quickly. Now another bait that's just like that, that works well, is actually the VMC rattle spoon. Looks like this, this one's actually beat up. Cause this is a spoon that I usually use for walleye fishing, but it also works for crappies in the, the same, pretty much the same way. This bait gets down the hole really quick. So if you're hole hopping, jumping from holes, and you're trying to fish these crappies fast, this bait gets down there. This is, like I said, the lure I use for walleyes, but it also works well for crappies. Another spoon that I like by VMC is the smaller Flash Champ. This one's got a, a more of a flutter action on the drop. It's still, it's still heavy and it gets down there quick. Uh, to the crappies and I it's a little bit smaller spoon so you get a few more bites on it So I really like this one as well again. This is the VMC flash champ Now there's some new spoons that came out at least they're new to me that I really like for, for fishing panfish One of them here is by Euro tackle uh, the ultimate tungsten spoon They call it what I like about this spoon is you can see it's got the feathers. So this is obviously the pink color, but they make a lot of colors. Um, but what I like about having the feathers on there is this is one, I start out tipping it, but you can get hits on this spoon without the tip sometimes. And I think it's because you got those, those feathers on there as well. Another bait with feathers on it that uh, on the tail, I'm gonna take this one out so it's easier to see, but it's the Clam Panfish Leech Spoon. This is another spoon I just uh, found this year, uh, and it's another spoon I like a lot. Uh, this is the Glow UV. It looks just like this. It's got the, the glitter in the, the feathers on the hook. This is another type of spoon I really like. This is another one. It's got a nice flutter on the drop and uh, it gets a lot of bites. So this is another really good spoon. Now another spoon I started using this year is this uh, Tungsten Core Rattler by Inferno. Looks just like this. And I, it's, it's classified as a rattler. I don't even know if you, you 
really call it a spoon. It kind of looks like one, it fishes like one, except for it doesn't really have the flutter. But uh, again, this one being smaller, I'm, I'm putting it in with, the, in with the spoons. I don't even know if it technically be classified as a spoon, but you fish it like a spoon. It's smaller and it, it, again, it gets down there quick. This spoon, you can get crappies and bluegills on. Now the really big bluegills, you'll get them on those other spoons too. But this one seems the bluegills, they'll, they'll smoke that sucker. All right, so two more spoons now that I like to fish. One, I don't fish this one as much anymore, although it, it, it always has worked well. And that's the VMC tumbler spoon. Uh, it's got, you know, it's got a treble hook on there, which you're obviously gonna tip. It's got the, the little blade on there. This spoon has a good flash. The, I guess one of the reasons that I don't use this spoon quite as much, it doesn't fall as fast as some of the other ones, but this spoon really works well. This one on two, I like fishing if I'm fishing in the weeds just because it falls a little bit slower. In the same way, one another spoon I really like, not only for crappies, but all panfish, bluegills, and perch, is the, the slender spoon. This one probably falls the slowest out of all of them. So if you're fishing fast, this will work, but it doesn't quite work as well. This one I like to fish more if I'm fishing weeds or a little shallower. Or if I'm sitting down and I'm hunkered down in an area and I'm, I'm working a hole for a longer period of time and kind of more fishing cruising fish, this this lure also has a really good, uh, it just really flutters really nicely and uh, triggers a lot of bites. That's the slender spoon. So these are kind of the spoons I like to use. Spoon, uh, fishing spoons is fun. Uh, it's a, you can fish them fast. The smaller, lighter spoons you can fish on a noodle rod. Otherwise, I use a rod with a little more backbone. It, you know, if I'm working the spoon, I don't want it to bend that tip too much like it would on a noodle rod. So then I use a little bit a rod with a little more backbone. But going hole to hole, catching crappies on spoons, it's a lot of fun. These are some of my most productive spoons. So check them out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.